Hi, I'm Dan with another cup of inspiration. You know, I used to think a lot about retirement and how great it would be to do what I want to do, to sleep in, to take vacations, to work on my golf game. And then my wife, Beth, was diagnosed with stage four cancer. And for the next three years, my world was flipped upside down. My priority became being with her and helping her to get better. And then on October 15th, of, excuse me, October 30th of 2015, she passed into eternity. And that whole situation really got me thinking about life and how much time do I have left and what am I going to do with my final days. My two best friends, Brian and Terry, were here for the funeral and they stayed with me the week after. And I took them out to lunch one day and I said, guys, we're in our 60s. I feel like I've done about this much for God. I want to really do something that makes a difference in people's lives and I want to do it in God's honor and to honor Beth. And they both said, we're in, let's do it. And Fearless Faith Ministries was born. So I ask you, what do you think about? What do you look forward to? What do you want to do with the rest of your life? There's a verse in Psalms. Psalms 90 verse 12 says, Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. What's your number? Beth's day was October 30th, 2015. But you know what? You have a number. I have a number. A day's coming when our time on earth is over and we won't be able to do anything else. The world is a mess today. People are hurting. People are needing the Lord. That's why Fearless Faith Ministries was born. We're here to put out the good news, tell people find God. We hope you'll join us just by being a part of this page. You're being involved. You know, Proverbs 1130 is another verse I'd like to share with you. And it says, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. I'll leave you this morning with this thought. I used to work, when I was in high school, I worked at a chicken uh, place called a Chicken Coop Chicken. And on the buckets, it said, only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. Let's do something with the rest of our days that makes a difference and that will last forever. God bless you. Have a great day.